Hey there guys, how are you doing today? My name is of course Callum and today I'm going to show you a nice quick easy way on how to create a field with splines. This is super simple, it doesn't take long at all. The longest bit is actually setting the spline up. Anyway, so what we want to do is you want to find your fields for um, transform group. We need to go into scripts, shared scripts, map, farmland fields and then we need to open the toolkit. What we're going to do is we're going to cr press create field, so then field 4 will show up. What we're going to do is quickly point uh, field 4 there, onto that map, onto this little map field. We're going to open it up, press on the polygon points, open it up, press on point 1 to point 4, delete them. Because we don't need them because we're going to do it via a spline. So, what we want to do is go on to create, spline, I'll open it over here, so press Control X, and then go on to your polygon points and press Control V. So now we've got, we've got the spline. So, go to any corner of your field, mine's just going to be down here, line it up. I recommend not going right to the edge, because it overlaps a tiny bit when the uh, field is actually created. So what we're going to do is we're going to press on the end. We're just going to move the end a tiny bit and then we're just going to hit insert. And we're just going to keep doing insert. Insert. Oh, just keep doing insert, and then till it's all done. We just come around here a tiny bit. I'm going to do an insert there, an insert there, and an insert there. So it's got a nice curve to the corner. The more you do, the sharper the corner, and obviously it can be then parallel to 90 degrees. Press on that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing it in a tiny bit so it's not as close to the edge. Just gonna press insert. Insert. Just gonna keep pressing insert. Another one there. That's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna come out up there a tiny bit more. Just don't want too much of a big gap here. You see, yeah, I can fill it with trees, but it'll just look a bit weird then. Grab the end. This bit is straight. Um, I don't need as many inserts at this point. Do a little curve up there. So, I read that if you do an insert, you can almost do it 90 degrees. Play about with the corners if you want. Make sure it's exactly how you want it. Just bring that in a tiny bit because that's going to turn into like a little road there, you see, going across. Just bring that out a tiny bit. Sweet. 
So then when we start to get to the end, what we're just going to do is, so we're going to get close to it. And then we're just going to press O, so it then joins them together. So what we need to do is, you want to go on, I'm going to provide this script in the description below, but once you've got it, what you want to do is go on to shared scripts, point placement by spline, field by whatever it is, whatever it is. Point placement by spline. There we go. What it's going to then do is create a load of points for the map, for, for the field, sorry. And then. I think that is loud, one second. So, what we're going to do is then we're going to delete the spline because it's no longer needed because we've created the points already. They're over here. So, this bit's critical. What we need to do is open the field toolkit go on to debug rendering toggle that so then we can see the field over here why it sends the field away I don't know it's just dead weird but press on the polygon points and then basically just simply place the field where you want it to be So, as you see the points are in the air, open your toolkit again, and then uh, align polygon points to terrain, so that's going to drop them down. So you can see a bit better if you've got it like lined up or whatever, a bit better. So now what we want to do is press field 4, open this up again. We want to get the total size, update field, we'll validate it, and then we're just going to do repaint fields, and then we're going to do repaint fields to farmland. So it then turns it into the brown, the ground, yay! So yeah, that's it, get total size, it's okay. It should automatically update it anyway, but it's just nice to update it. And once you've done that, you can just cross it off. And there you go. You've got Field 4. So when you go in the game, you won't own it, but what you will need to do is go into your configs and then your fields. And then you need to go into your um, farmlands, open that up. If you see here, you've got the exclamation mark and the dash dash. Control X so it highlights them all, and then just Control V to paste it. Because what you want to do is you want to then move it one by one. Because obviously, if you highlight it, you're then going to get 93 fields, which you don't want. Unless you have 93 fields, then you do it one by one. I find it easier. So you can either give it yourself, which will be farmer or you can give it grandpa oh grandpa so then control s to save it and then field 4 you can then change uh, what it is so if you own it so we call it farmer if we save it we can then change it so field id 4 Let's do uh, out uh, harvest ready, and then we'll just leave spray type as none. Then we can add weeds if we want to, just by changing that number. But I don't want to, so we'll do it as oats harvest ready. So this is going to be field four. What you can do is obviously then just copy paste and then just change the number five six seven eight nine so basically you got some ready so yeah what we're gonna do is control s on the giants editor go over to steam or wherever you have your game 
launch it up <coughs> when it loads there we go we we're in Go into career, find your map. Yeah, I don't want to. Don't want a guided intro. There we go. And then just let it load. And then we'll press start. Come out of the field creation. As you see on the map, we've got one, two, three, and four. I'm just gonna get a, get a tractor. Red tires here, why not? I'm just gonna tab to there. So this one is field two. Field one's that brown one down there. There we go. I don't know, it's not turned up. How? Oh, how strange. But it's saying owned by me, crop type is oats. What did I mess up on? Ah, that's why. Let me try that again. I'm just going to Alt F4 on that. I didn't even see that, ready? That bit there. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, now if we go back in, Field 4 should let us uh, it's gonna take two weeks to load. There we go. Let's crew that one again. Hate the garden intro. Let it load up again. Right, escape out of that. Let's buy a, the tractor again. Let's have into the tractor. Hopefully now, there we go. It showed up as oats. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Right, let's go. So yeah, there we have some oats ready to harvest. So obviously the train, because it's a map car in progress. I've got loads of bumps. I need to move out but yeah no as you see on the mini map we are on field four the crop destruction is on as normal if you have it turned on so yeah obviously if you have a hired worker it will automatically do it because we um, did the what was it field target because we did it, uh, repaint fields to farmland, so this, the higher worker will recognise this as a field, which is lovely. So if you set him off to work, off, off he pops, and uh, yeah, that's it. So, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I wish you all the best in uh, map making for FS25, and yeah, 
Uh, enjoy the wonder you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a wonderful evening or night. And yeah, I look forward to seeing your maps.